Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract with a very soft nucleus. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is phenocaine which contains gylocaine, phenylephrine and tropicamide and this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. It is applied over the cornea also for better visibility. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision and then capsular axis. Uh, Uterator forceps is being used to do the rexis. The anti-capsule is torn at the central part and a capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate sized rexus. And now hydro dissection. Very gentle hydro dissection is done. And this nucleus is so soft that it doesn't need even pre-chop. It cannot be held for chopping also and it doesn't require pre-chop also. We just have to aspirate the lens mass. So go bevel down and as I start, as I go to position 2 where I use vacuum in linear mode most of the cortex most of the lens mass comes out for the last part I go to FECO 3 mode epinucleus mode and remove this part and now I try to remove a small portion of the cortex by the FECO needle itself this patient is only 27 years old so in such cases the chance of posterior capsular pacification is very high so in such cases what I say to the patient on the operating table itself is that he will require Yag laser capsulotomy after few weeks. I told this patient that you can get it done after one month because the patient is so young and posterior capsular pacification is likely to occur very early in such cases. The main wound is enlarged little bit and then hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens from Johnson and Johnson is being implanted in this case. No financial interest. This is Technis 1. This is irrigation of the anterior chamber. There is some amount of visco in the lumen of the cartridge. If we place the irrigation in the anterior chamber for few seconds, the visco comes out. I irrigated the capsular bag also. And now, this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber with this Simco cannula. 
With Simco, I find it very good to form the anterior chamber. As I place the Simco in this way, the anterior chamber forms very nicely and I find that most of the time the main wound doesn't require any hydration. See, the main wound is sealed. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.